Welcome back to another video with Asta. Today I'm going to show you on how to create your very own AI agent that is integrated with DeepSeek API. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. As you can see, we're here in the CBB dashboard. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is set up my agents. So I'm going to click on Manage Agents. The first agent that we're going to create is the router agent. I'll name this one Alex. Router agent. Now to save us some time, I do have the prompt ready. So I'm just going to copy and paste them in. And we'll go over it together. So it says, your goal is to determine where to route the conversation. You will do this by responding only with one of the three following names, depending on the conversation's destination. You will choose Mia for blog posts, Drew for any other questions, Asa for advanced mathematical questions. And under no circumstances should you ever respond with anything other than one of the three names. No other words or context or symbols. Let's click on save. Now, our next agent that we're going to create, Mia. Mia is going to become our blogger. Space in Mia's prompt. You are Mia the blogger. And your goal is to produce a blog title, subtitle, and five paragraphs based on whatever information you've been provided. You should always ensure that you have the topic as well as the author's name before you produce the written work. Under no circumstances should you provide the five paragraphs unless you have obtained the topic and the author's name. Now again, let's click save. Next up is Drew. Drew is all about general, general agent. Perfect. Click on continue. We're going to paste in his prompt and it says, your name is Drew, the bot, and you are a very sophisticated AI agent. Your goal is to answer questions in a very friendly but intelligent sort of way and then end your conversation response with a question to keep the conversation going. Let's click on save. Next up is Asta. Now we'll just have him Asta math agent. And he will do advanced mathematic um, solutions. Continue. And I just not paste it in here. Your name is Asi, job of advanced mathematical questions. Now, let's click save. Now, as you can see, we have all the agents right here. We got to do one last change to the router agent. And this is just going to give it a better idea of what to look for and how to do its job. I have a prompt for that as well. And I'm just going to give it some space. I'm going to head on over to ChatGPT. And I'm going to paste this in and it says generate 15 conversation examples in user and assistant style where the user will say a message to the bot and then the assistant will respond with only one of three names and no other words, characters or symbols. Mia for blog posts, Drew for any other questions, Asta for advanced mathematical questions. So let's click on enter. Now, as you can see, it's generating exactly what it is that we want. Um, can you help me write a blog post for AI chatbots? That's Mia. What are the benefits of using chatbot for customer service? That's true. How do I integrate? You know, what is the square root of 256? Ask them. Now this is called synthetic data. All we're going to do is just copy this and paste it right in here and say something like, here are some examples and boom, click save. Awesome. So now we have all of our agents set up. Now, this goes without say, you can have your agent set up however you want, do whatever tasks you want. You can even have things such as Make um, or Zapier hooked up to this. So you can have agents that generate you know, blog posts, that generate uh, captions, images that you can just have literally post onto your social media by them. Now, the next thing we need to do is connect DeepSeek API to Chatbot Builder. Now, the first thing we want to do is head over to Settings. And then we want to head over to Integrations. OpenAI is turned on by default. Every single account comes with an OpenAI key already connected. And so you have Chip D4 Mini already ready to use, completely for free, included. Um, for this case, we want to turn this off because it will disrupt our setup. Head on over to DeepSeek and click on Connect and enter in your API key. Now it goes without say, that I'm going to delete this API key after this video. So this is no use to you whatsoever. Um, I'm going to remove this for now. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to click on continue. And then we want to click on save. 
Oh, by the way, you want to turn this off as well. Just like that and click save. Now we have DeepSeek default agent turned off. When these are turned on, the default agents under integrations, it pulls the information from these sections right here, which says edit. I just want to make sure that OpenAI is closed. Okay, perfect. Turn it off as well. Now we're going to go over to general and where it says default flow, we want to select the default flow. Uh, where is it? Right there. Oops, default flow. Perfect. Click save. Now we head over to flows and we want to set up our router agent and all the other agents. Now click on default reply. And this is a super easy setup. We've already done all the hard work by setting up the agents. At this point, it's just connecting a few extra steps. So the router agent is going to be the first one, add external agent. So we'll delete this output right here and we'll rename this Alex router agent. Yeah, that's fine. Click save. We want to delete this OpenAI node and actions deep seek because that we'll be using for today click on deep seek and right at the top here they'll tell you generate text or generate text agent generate text agents right here click on that now the model can be deep deep seek chat or deep seek reasoner we want to use deep seek chat for this instance we want things to be quick and moving very efficiently for the agents i'm going to click on alex the router agent the user's message will be the last input. And then I'm going to save the response to a custom field that I'm going to create called Alex router. Let me just remove that T from there. Perfect. Alex router. I'll remove the function because we don't really need that right now. And I'll give him a standard 3000 tokens. Click on continue. And then we want to click the little plus button down here and click on conditions. Connect these two and click on conditions. Over here, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to select the custom field that we just created from Alex the router. So Alex router is, and this is where we will enter the names. So I'll put Asta, save, create, um, check new condition. I'm going to click on this and create another one. So Alex router is Mia for our blogs. And same thing in check new condition. Alex router is Drew. Perfect. The three names. We can call this routing condition. Perfect. This is also really easy. We'll just drag it out, send message, add content, actions, and select DeepSeek. From here, we'll click on DeepSeek and we'll select the agents that we have already set up. So generate text, change it to generate text agents. Keep the model as is. Agents can be, I believe the first one is Asta, yes. Math agent. Um, save response to a custom field. I'll just say Asta output. Click save, remove function. We don't need that right now. I'll give him 4,000 standard as well. Click continue. And we can actually duplicate this. So next one is Mia. Now let me just rename this very quickly. Asta. I'll just click the Asta agent. Agent, sounds cool. <laughs> Uh, next one is Mia, so let's just rename this already. Mia agent. I'm going to click on this. Oh, we haven't added the text. Let's just do that very quickly. So I've clicked back on Asta agent and click on add content text and we'll include the custom field for the output of the Asta agent. So I believe if I type in Asta, output is right there. Perfect. Now over to Mia agent, click on deep seek, generate text agents. Good. We'll change this one to Mia the blogger, save response to custom field, Mia output, click continue. Perfect. Good. Good. Everything seems good. 
click continue text and we want to put the custom field in here near output perfect now one more left drew connect it up rename drew agent save and just change these from mere blogger to drew general agent and then add a custom field drew output click continue good looks all good click continue and we just want to change this custom field to drew leave it should be somewhere towards the bottom mia alex just click out of it and click back in drew output there we go <laughs> all right let's just click the auto organize steps button make it nice look nice and neat so we've got alex the router agent right here we've got the routing conditions we've got the aster agent the mia agent and the drew agent one more thing so that we know what agent is talking to us, I'm going to add the names just before the actual output. So for this one, I'm going to have Asta, just like that. For this one, Mia. And the same thing for Drew. Perfect. Now, honestly, at this point, building systems out with Chatbot Builder AI is so easy. Um, a single chatbot can run off one single node, right? One single of these can be an entire chatbot with, you know, functions here and there. But I've had a, a very simple chatbot that does all of the answering of questions and queries on one of my clients, um, Facebook pages, literally just one block, nothing else. This is all they really need is having their questions answered. Um, but yes, let's just stay on track here. I'm going to click on publish. We have everything good now and now we want to preview this i'm going to do that by duplicating the top tab and going back i like to keep the default if i'm working on the default reply if i'm working on the welcome message or whichever flow it is at the time i like to have a tab open so i can switch between very easily so for this one here i'm just going to click on welcome message and again you can set the agents of however you want with whatever tasks you would want them to complete or writing styles etc um, same thing for your welcome message you can have your welcome message set up however fits your branding or your needs for this instance since it's just a little demo and i want to keep this nice and quick i'm just going to change this to welcome to the deep seek deep seek agent test perfect and I'm going to click on publish and we will preview from here. Now we couldn't preview from the default flow because there is no previous input, right? So we'll need to come through the welcome message. The welcome message message's only job is to greet us so that we can put an input in that then is getting picked up by the default reply. I know it can sound a little confusing here and there. I will also leave a playlist below that I think is the best starting step for anyone that is new here at CBB. But also for some of us who have been here for quite some time, who would like to go through them one more time, you can pick up little things here and there that can help refine your building style as well. Um, but yes, let's preview this. I'm going to click on the assistant tab on the right, go to preview, and we're just going to hit the preview button. Should be coming through saying welcome to the deep seek agent test right there perfect welcome message has come as soon as the response is gone and the default reply will take over so for this instance i'm going to say something general so what are some good coffee beans just like that and we should see the name of the agent before the response so that we know who we're interacting with in this case it's a very general question that should be going to drew let's see boom as you can see it's come through and it says right here drew drew the agent ah coffee beans such a delightful topic <laughs> okay so we know that drew works 
Now I want something more like a, a blog. So let's say, write me a blog, how AI is changing the business landscape. Okay. All right, so it's come through. I just say Mia the blogger. Okay, so this is, as you can see, it's, it is Mia. Um, it's given, it's going through it. Amazing. This can be refined. You see how it's got the little pound signs and the asterisk signs. All of that is in the prompt of the agent. So you can go back to the agent, type it. Hey, I don't want any of stars or pounds or things like that. And it will fix that. Matter of fact, let's, let's test one more thing and then we'll see if we can fix that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get a mathematical question. I don't know how easy it's going to be. <laughs> Let's see if it'll get it right. Okay, so the question I have is right here. And so I paste this in. Solve for x, x in the equation, etc. I'm going to remove the dot and I'm just going to press. The solution should be R4. Yeah before it's giving me an answer. That is the solution. So let's see, did it get it? Yeah, I got it. X equals to four. <laughs> Perfect. Now who gave this? That's very important. Let's see who gave this. Asta, right there you can see. Amazing. So let's just solve one more thing. Um, default flow, that's all right. Actually, I'm gonna head out of this one for now because we, we don't need to do any more changes within a default reply. It is routing perfectly. Um, I do want to, however, show you how you can change with prompting certain outputs. So I'm going to go to manage agents. I'm going to go back to Mir the blogger. Now from here, we're going to click on Mir blogger. And I'm going to just add a little, a little extra instruction to her, her prompt. And that should fix everything. So we're going to just please ensure that under no circumstances if i can spell it right then under no circumstances you will include i'll just put the or count symbols symbols in your out output perfect then click save i'm going to head right back over to the welcome message and preview the default reply one more time just making sure this is saving perfect saved let's go over to welcome message and preview now i should say welcome to the deep seek asian test perfect and let's go straight to me at a blogger write me a blog about cats and dogs my name is asta boom and let's see what he comes back with so right now it's crafting the blog it's removing the little uh symbols and it's gonna drop in a super cool blog about cats and dogs i am sure of it any second now and boom as you can see it has come through with a super good blog <laughs> okay okay so first, Mia, it shows right there. Now this, this you can fix again with examples and things like that. But we already see that it's working and it's taken out from everywhere else, which is perfect. That is how you build an AI agent in Chopper Builder AI with the DeepSeek API. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I'll be sure to respond to you. And yeah, happy building. Until next time. Peace.